Does the idea of taking a vacation sound like an impossible obstacle to you? I'm Denise O'Berry and you're watching The Little Big Show, your place for bite-sized tips that can have a big impact on your bottom line. As small business owners, often the idea of taking a vacation sounds pretty far-fetched. How do you do that when there's so much to do? And what about your team? They like to take vacations too, but less staff means more work for everybody else. The good news is that it's not impossible. Here are three tips to help you out. Number one, plan ahead. If you're going to take a vacation, make sure that the team members left behind have the tools and skills necessary to run the business in your absence. You can test this by taking short breaks before the big one, such as a day or two off at a time. Identify the roles and responsibilities of those in charge during your absence. Who will do what and when? All right, so you might be thinking, but I don't have any employees. Well, if you don't have any employees, then you can delegate out to a virtual assistant. Number two, shutting down your business may be the right solution. If your business is the kind that has dead seasons, then that might just be the right thing to do for you. That way everybody can take time off at the same time. But you have to make sure and prepare your customers in advance so that you still have a business to come back to. Number three, don't let work sit. Don't make employees feel like they never had a vacation once they come back. Ensure that each team member's responsibilities will be taken care of while they're gone by cross-training before they leave. There's nothing worse than going on vacation only to find a mountain of stuff laying on your desk when you come back. This clogs the pipeline of your business too and could send your customers right off to a competitor. Have you taken a vacation from your business? What tips can you share to help people who are grappling with this sticky issue? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do you know another small business owner who's struggling with this issue? Send them off a link to this video right now. They'll appreciate you for it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get first scoop every time I upload a new episode. Make sure you pick up a copy of my free success strategies guide 10 Keys to Success for Small Business Owners. You can get it at denisoberry.com. It contains tips in it that I don't share anywhere else, and it'll help you move forward in your business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. You can test this by taking... You can test this by taking... You can test this by taking... Oh, why can't I say that? <laughs> <laughs>